Alright, here's what we're doing next. We got these uh, four oil tanks, some spaces, whatever you want to call them. And uh, what we want to do is is make it all one piece. So uh, we're only going to need one one oil fill and one drain. We don't need all these back here. This this drain here. What we're going to do? What I'm going to do this is uh, we, uh, I'm going to cut this off. And even here, this has a little uh, this, this thing right here. This little knob on the side. That's like a that's a uh, a port there that uh, I guess the oil goes through there and it uh, helps you show where the the level is. So I'm gonna have to if I cut them off, fill them holes in. You know, you're gonna have to have the drain hole in the bottom. I'll fill that in. And then uh, once we uh, cut them all off, we're gonna leave one, probably one on the end. Then we're gonna connect them. You know, put the uh, put ports in in each chamber so that it'll, it'll all fill up and stuff like that but uh, got something interesting here here's a, I don't know if this one's this one must be older because if you see see this one and it's got the little hump and the the extra chamber up top there to show you where the oil level is but this one doesn't this one this one just has one hole in the bottom and it has a cap these here have screw on caps Similar to this one. This is a this is a cast iron. I just put that there to show you the different kind of bases they have. But this one here has uh, the oil fill and it's spring loaded. I think you're supposed to hang it on the side there like that and fill it up. And then when you're done, you just lift it up and it, it pops in place. I'm assuming this is one of the earlier ones because this looks like a, a newer modification. And this this is a cast iron one. I'm not going to use this, but uh, that one that one just has one chamber too. So that that must have been old. You can tell that's older because they they use cast iron and all this newer crap they use aluminum. So that's what we're going to do now. Like I say, we're going to three of these. We're going to we're going to cut cut the oil fill off in the chamber and then weld up the holes and uh, dress them up for now. So that's going to take me a while. I'll I'll show you them when they're done. All right, I cleaned this one up here. You know, I, I cut the the filler off and uh, rounded it off, and I like the way it looks. And then I uh, I started on this one. I, was, I started cutting it with a, a cut off wheel, you know, on a little Dremel and stuff like that. And it, it took me about an hour. I even had little saws and stuff, and uh, you know, it's the aluminum. The aluminum clogs everything up. So I've actually been working on that for about an hour, and it still has a lot of work to do. I'm thinking, geez, I got this little mill here. This little mill will probably take about 10 minutes to cut that lobe off, and it'll probably be perfect. So I'm going to try that. But while I was looking at it, and I like the clean look without the fillers and everything, I was actually thinking, we're going to leave this one on the end. But I'm thinking of cutting this off, and I ran it past Mike. I showed him what I was thinking. We'll cut that off, and I was thinking of putting like a, a filler just a street elbow, you know, this isn't a street elbow, it's just a regular. But uh, an elbow here, and use that as a filler. And then uh, put a drain in the bottom. And he sort of liked that idea, but he came up with even a better idea. He liked the idea of cutting off and cleaning it up, making it look good. He came up with an idea of actually putting a hole in the block and a dipstick and filling it there. So that would, even, that would clean everything up even more. So I like that idea, so I think we're going to go with that. And uh, I'm going to wind up uh, cutting this last one off before we do it all. So uh, let's, uh, let's try our little mill. I, I forgot we had that. That would have been the easiest thing to do. The, the hardest part is setting it up and putting it in the thing and, and tying it down. Milling it shouldn't be any problem. So let me, uh, let me try that and uh, we'll see what it does. Alright. Seems to be working pretty good. How well you can see it, but uh, it's a little nice job. This has only been about uh, three or four minutes of work. I'm liking what it's doing. If this uh, was 
steel, I wouldn't be taking such a big cup, but it's just aluminum. It's doing a real nice job. I'm glad I got this uh, little little mill. Like I'm saying, I spent, I spent two, an hour, hour and a half on that other one trying to trying to cut it, and it was going to be a hack job. I would have had to do a lot of cleaning up on it. This year, I'm going to have to clean up with not much at all. Alright, let me finish this up and uh, I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. Alright, yeah, that, uh, that's about five minutes of work there. Let me get this out of your way and we can see it. And that's uh, going to need very little cleanup. And it's almost perfect. It's just what I wanted. Huh. Well worth it. This little mill is well worth it. Alright, let me put the next one in. Alright, I cleaned them up. It came out pretty good. You know, if you look from the top here, they all have the same uh, shape. And I, I blasted them here so I uh, so I can put some, uh, I don't know, epoxy or maybe aluminum rod. I'm probably leaning towards epoxy. Another thing I noticed here, this one here got like little, uh, it's lifted a little bit, so I'm going to take, grind them down and do something with it. See the other two are flat, but this uh, sort of has like a little uh, raised embossment there. Okay. Let me uh, fill them in and maybe paint them and uh, call it quits. Alright, I filled them with epoxy. They, uh, they all came out pretty good. They're actually pretty pretty smooth and everything. So once you paint on it, you won't even see it. It'll look it'll look factory too. And they all came out good. I held off on this last one, you know. Like I said, we we're, we're thinking of putting a a drain plug in the bottom and then uh, oil fill on the side of the block. But uh, I'm gonna wait for Mike and uh, run it past him and get it definite to see if uh, that's what he wants to do. We agree on everything, you know, and we just, uh, something like that, you just want to make, double double check, make sure, so. Alright, I don't know how long this video is, but, oh yeah, also I, uh, I file down all these little, uh, bosses and stuff like that, whatever we're sticking up, so. Should look good. Alright, I don't know how long this video is, but, uh, we'll find out. Alright, see you in the next video.